a great day, our dear participants in this ICT training. At this moment, I would like to share with you my secrets in designing a presentation using a PowerPoint application. So I'll be sharing to you the way I design my course materials in all the subjects that I handle. So let me start. Let me first show you this simple presentation. So the thing that I consider in designing a PowerPoint presentation in my course materials are the following. So we have interactivity. Okay, so the very thing that I first consider in making a presentation is its interactivity. That's why I use this uh, PowerPoint application and maximize its features to make my students alive and uh, get engage with the lessons that I contain in my presentation. Okay, so those are, so these are the content of this training. First is we shall create the content for our course material or for our learning material. Then we shall design it. But at this time, I'll just be sharing to you a very simple design. Next, we shall create, after we are done with the content, we shall create a home slide. It is where we shall contain all the summary of our presentation. And then we shall be creating links or we shall be performing the linking. Okay, so we shall be linking our slides from home slide. And then in each link slide, we shall be having this what we call link back so that it will be easy for us to go back to the home slide or the summary of the content, okay? So those are the activities that we shall have in this uh, encounter. Okay, so let's now continue. Let's move on to our uh, presentation, the signing or to the actual training. I hope you can go with me or go along with uh, my demonstration. So I shall now open okay so at this time i would like to start from the very beginning from the launching of the application the powerpoint at this time i will be using the powerpoint 2016 uh, version of the application so let's start it with blank presentation okay so it's up to you what layout you want to apply in your design Okay, you can also use the, what we call design ideas here provided by the program. Okay, so it's up to you guys how you want your design B. Okay, so at this time, I'll be using the blank layout. I want to do the, all the layout by myself. Okay, so let's first create a content. So I'll be creating, suppose I'll be creating a garden presentation suppose okay so i'll start with adding by adding my title so in creating a new slide you can actually click at new slide here okay then choose the layout okay or you can just make use of the shortcut key by using control m m okay that means creating new slide. Okay, so I'll just, uh, I'll just have uh, five slides all in all. So I will be containing, in each slide, in the second slide, I will contain here the, the plant that I have supposed in my garden. Okay, so I'll just copy the text box. So I'm just a fan of using the copy-paste uh, feature of any application. So I'll put here the name of the plant that I want to have in this slide. But before I do that, I would like to first add a plant. So click insert, then picture, then look for its uh, location in your uh, computer. So like, suppose I want to add here Antarium plant. Okay. So this is my Antarium plant. 
try to add a title or a name of a plant. So let's just try to put here the text, then it's at its a uh, picture. Okay, so another in the third slide, I want to add Monstera. Okay, so I'll just type the text box, paste here. Next. Insert another picture. So I don't know the name of the plant. So let's just uh, pick up one. Okay, so this one. Extra size. So copy paste again. Paste again another text box. Or keys. Okay, so I think I want to add more, another plant. So it's good to have many content or maybe so that you can really see the, the jumping later of uh, a slide. Okay, you can have more jumping experience or linking experience if you have more content in a presentation. So let's say welcome to uh, Okay, so another, another thing that I want you to also apply maybe if there is a need is to crop the, the image in your slide using the PowerPoint feature. So all you have to do is to just click on the image, then go to format, click on crop, click crop. Then you select the portion of the image you want to display, okay? You select the portion of the image you want to display, then click crop. Okay, so that's what also I'll be doing to the rest of the plants or of the pictures. Just crap. Okay, crap. So if there are parts of the image you want to hide or the an important part of the image, you can just do crop. Okay, just have to click at the image, then click at crop here, then crop it. Oops. Okay, so cropping. Okay, another. I want to change the color, although you are familiar with this already, but uh, I want to share another technique of how you are to change the format of the text, okay, and apply it to the rest of the slides without doing the same procedure again and again. So let's adjust first the format of uh, the text or maybe increase the size, change the font, change the color, and so on. Okay, so if you want to apply a fill color, just click at the text, then click at the format, select the theme style of that particular text box, or you can have your own style. Okay, so that's it. Torium, apply outline. Adjust the outline width, okay, if you like to do that. I want this design to, to be, I want my text design to be like this. All of the slides in my presentation, I want it this way, okay, design this way. 
So all you have to do is just click at the text box, then uh, click at home, go back to home ribbon, click at format painter here, format painter, then the, the, the format of this text box be applied to the text box, which you will be clicking next. So like this, I'll click at the text box here, then it will adapt all the format or the, the change I made in the first text box. So to apply the same uh, format again to the rest of the text box, you just you have to again, click at format painter. Okay, make sure that the text box is uh, active or highlighted or is clicked. Then click at the format painter at the home ribbon. Format painter, go to the next slide, click the next text box, which you want to apply the same format, okay? So do the same procedure, just click, then click format painter, then go to the next text box, click, Okay, so automatically the format will just be applied. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so make use of the format painter for your design. Okay, so that it will be easy for you to apply the same design to the rest of uh, the slides of your presentation. So that's it. Next, didn't you know that you can actually change the background of your picture? Okay, so suppose I have here a background design. Suppose I want to apply a background design in this slide, in this slide two. I want to change the design in the, the background color in blue. Okay, so I want the background color of this image. We also like the background of the slide. Okay, so all I have to do is to click at the image, then go to format. So go to color. Click at set transparent color. Then click to the background, to the white background of the image. It will make it transparent. Okay. So all you have to do to the rest of the, the background, which was not changed into transparent, is to edit it. Okay. So that's about the, the setting of a background into transparent. Okay, so I, I will not anymore do the editing uh, activity here, just to, like, to show you how you are to do the setting of a background into transparent. Okay, so if I also want to set this background into transparent, so I'll just do the same procedure, click at the picture. Okay, click at the picture, go to format, go to color, click set transparent, click on the background. Okay, that you want to set it in the transparent color. Or you can also select uh, the, the image format which you want to apply. Suppose I want to undo the setting of a transparent background. You can also apply more uh, color effect to your background to enhance, I mean, to your image to enhance its design. Okay, you can also change the background color of your image if you like. Okay, so that's about the, the changing of uh, or the enhancing of your image. And if you want to go back to its original uh, quality or original picture, just click reset picture here. Okay, so that's it. So let's first make I want to copy the, the text here, paste it here. And, uh, this is what we call home slide, okay? Copy, paste. Copy, paste. Then copy, paste. Okay, so I want to adjust the, the, the size of the text. Okay, so I, all I did is to click at the text box one by one. Or you can also select the text box. This is more easier or this is easier than the, the, the previous. So just adjust the size, okay? 
then you maybe arrange. It's up to you how you organize your your content in a slide. So suppose this one and uh, a little enhancement to this text. Okay. And uh, suppose I want to change the background. Okay, of this uh, presentation or maybe apply something like that, a background color to the text. Okay. So just apply a light uh, background. Insert a picture. Okay. Or that is one. Or maybe this one. Insert. Okay. So I'll send it to back. Right click, send to back. So I'll arrange. So this is the what we call home slide. Okay, so we shall be linking now the content of our presentation. We shall be linking the Anthorium text to the Anthorium slide. The Orchids or Orchid text to Orchid the slide. Then the welcome plant to the welcome plant slide. Then the Monstera to the Monstera slide. Okay, so I'll rearrange. So that's it. You can just easily rearrange your slides by just uh, going here in this left pane where you can see all the slides of your presentation. Just drag them to its location or where you want it be located. Okay, so that's how easy the Microsoft PowerPoint is. That's how easy the application is to manage. Okay, let's now proceed to linking. Okay, so the first linking we shall do is to link the first slide to the second slide, to the third slide, to the fourth slide, and the fifth slide. Then we shall create another linking activity that will enable us to go back to this first slide. Okay, so that's it. So let's start the linking now. So let's go back to the home slide. So Antarium, I'll link this to the Antarium slide. So all I have to do is to click at the text box here, then the right click, then look for hyperlink. Click at hyperlink, then so from from link to we shall we shall select place in this document. That means we shall do the linking just within the presentation. Okay. So in what particular slide you want to link that text? So we can see here. Okay, the content of the presentation. So we have the slide one, two, three, four, and five. So I want to link that text to the slide two, containing Antorium. Okay, so you can see the 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 content of the slide here at the slide preview window. So after which, click OK. So this one is already linked to this slide. Okay, so later we'll check. Okay, the, the linking or the effect of the, the command that we performed earlier. So next, the orchid. So same procedure, just click at the text box, then right click within the click text, then click hyperlink, select slide three. Okay, click OK. Next, click. Okay, then right click, then hyperlink, select slide four. Okay. Next, right click, hyperlink, slide five. Okay. Okay, so those are the things that you just have to do in order for you to do the linking. Okay, so let's now check the effect of the linking. Okay, let's uh, 
slideshow view. Let's uh, view the presentation in its slideshow view. So this is already the slideshow view of our presentation. Okay, so as let's look at the mouse pointer. It is uh, in a high row uh, state. So if I'll put it, uh, this text where I applied linking earlier, it becomes a hand. That means there is a link, there is a hyperlink. Okay, it is linked to a certain file or a slide in this presentation. So click at here to jump on a particular slide where it is linked. Okay, so at this moment, I'll just be making use of the uh, shortcut key to go back to that uh, previous uh, slide. So I type one, enter. That means I want to go back to the first slide to the slide one, okay? So that's the shortcut key. So let's jump to ORCID's uh, or ORCID uh, slide, click it here. Okay, so this is already the ORCID slide. So I'll go back to the first slide by pressing one, enter. Next, welcome plant, click welcome plant. This is the slide three. Okay, next, Monstera, click the text, then go jump to this slide. So one, enter. So that's it. So that's already the effect of the linking activity that we've just uh, learn from the demonstration. Okay, so now let's apply a back link. Okay, so so that you'll not anymore be using a shortcut key to be able to go back to that home slide. So I'll just make use of a, a shape, okay, where I can click so that I can go back to the previous uh, slide. Okay, so I'll just uh, apply a design on this. Uh, then I'll just add the text like back. Okay, that means I'll go back to the home slide, okay? So the, th the first thing I'll do is to just right click on the sheet or on the object. So same procedure, select hyperlink, then click on slide one because uh, it's where I want to go back always, okay? Every time I jump to the slides in my presentation. So, I'll click at OK because it's where I want the uh, the jumping B. Okay, it's in the first slide or in the slide one. So click OK button if you are done. So since I want to apply the same uh, effect to the rest of the slides, all I have to do is to copy the sheet, okay, to the rest of the slides. Then paste. Just uh, put it to the position where you want it located in your slide. So paste again. Oops. Paste again. So when you paste, don't, don't just paste the the object as image, but you have to paste it, no, with all its format. So the link will also be applied. Okay. So that's it. So let's try again. So let's uh, view this presentation in its slideshow view. So click on Thorium, click at the back slide, click back, and then you will be able to go back here in this home slide. Click under a link, okay, hold on. Click ORCID, click at back if you want to go back. Welcome plant, click back. Monstera, click back. Okay, so let's escape key. Okay, so I hope participant, dear, our dear participants, you were able to learn how to make a PowerPoint presentation with uh, interactivity, applying this, what we call hyperlinks to your presentation. Okay, so you can also add uh, or apply a link or a video in your presentation by changing the, 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 kumbaga, the link to into file. Okay, so I would like to give you another example of how you are to apply uh, a link to a file. Okay, so suppose, so in this presentation, I want to create another slide. So I will be inserting, suppose, a text. Okay. So, topic one. 
So if you want to link a text to a file, like a PDF file, so all you have to do is just highlight the text and right click. Suppose say, well, you want to go out to the presentation, you will not just link the, the text to the slide, but uh, to a file outside of your presentation. So all you have to do is to just uh, highlight the text where you want to apply hyperlink, then click at hyperlink, then right click, then click hyperlink. Go to existing file or web page. Then you are look for the location in your computer. Okay, so suppose I want to look at here. Okay, my computer. Uh, this D folder topic one suppose i want to attach this topic one this presentation then you're done that's it that's how you are to do the linking okay so you will know that it is linked because if you are to point the mouse in it it will look like hand so that means uh it is linked to the drive d with the its location okay if you click at that the computer will open that link file. So this is already the link file. Okay, so that's also true with the video and the music if you want to include it in your presentation. Okay, so that's it. I hope you've learned from this uh, demonstration and from this uh, PowerPoint training where you we cover the linking activity or the linking procedure. Okay, so I hope you will also be able to apply it in your uh, uh, course materials or uh, learning materials designed for your uh, students or for your pupils because we need to make it interactive in this time of pandemic where we can only uh, interact with our class online. Okay, so thank you so much. Don't hesitate to ask questions or message me if you want to have a clarification about this activity.